Hey buddy, it's on Planet Tech, and today we're going to be working with Q3D and Blender. So Q3D is a 3D plugin in Construct 2, so Construct 2 can only do 2D video games and it does it very, very well. Uh, Q3D is a plugin that allows you to do 3D very well in Construct 2. My only issues with Q3D is that I would like a better um, sizing system when you import the models into the uh, into the actual engine is that when you create as you can see this is my um, icon for this game it's like when you move it it's like normally when you do a sprite you size it and it's actually that size I would like it to be very comparable to the size issue when we hit play and I'm going to move the player into view of this object. As you can see, this is not stretch or elongated. Its width is almost like almost perfect. So that's one of my issues. I think I sh it should be fixed. So if you want to mess around with 3D and Construct 2, Q3D is one of the more uh, is one of the better options out there. But even it doesn't have issues. If you would like to do a 3D video game. Try moving into a 3D engine. Um, however, I think within a, a couple versions, this should be all fixed and it should be actually very, very good. And I would actually consider it uh, being moved into a more um, official standing with Construct 2. But until that point, it's kind of rough around the edges, uh, a little more than what I would like. But enough with that, we're going to be moving into Blender, which is a 3D modeling. Uh, application and it's totally free so this is a 3d box and what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be exporting this box as a OBJ so an OBJ is a older 3d format we're going to be naming it as um, I would I've named it in a couple boxes uh, named it box a couple times so I'm going to name it orange box v1 so version 1 and we're going to export it as an obj make sure when you do export it as an obj that it has a .mtl file with it there are a couple other versions of obj uh, file formats that don't and it doesn't really work with this so what i'm going to do now is in construct 2 we're going to go to files we're going to import uh, the file so we're going to be looking for orange box v1 as you can see we we have I have a whole bunch of 3d files but there it is right there and we can actually double click it I have a 3d modeling software I use just for viewing it's called misfit model 3d and there we go it's just for editing obj formats I'm going to click right in my scene insert a new object a Q3D mo uh, model. I'm going to place it. Um, as you can see, we have all this stuff up. Um, and what I usually do is I will create an icon for my object. So I'm not going to just write down. Um, box. Exit off that. Now what we want to do is since we have it selected, I want it to, instead of uh, editor representation, I want it to be textured. So there we go. And if we zoom in real close, we can see uh, my failed attempt, attempt of writing box. Okay, so at this point we want to use model. Yes, we want uh, bounding uh, box debug off and we want collider debug off so we're going to be using the actual 3d models uh, bounding box as in inclusion per, uh, properties you use a model yes so we're going to actually go over here we're going to rename but I'm actually just going to copy its name and paste it over here and just add dot obj okay now that we're done I'm now going to run the layout. I'm going to place this right next to my character, right here. So we have a pink box and then a green box. 
So we're, we're going to be able to uh, see it. There's our uh, box. We haven't added a texture to it, so it's white. And then here's our other box that we have now that we're going to texture. We're going to go to our event sheet. And I'm going to add a little um, text information. So I'm going to call it box two. Add event. All right, so we have to know the name of this box. I'm actually going to change it. It's a little bit easier for this for us so this is gonna be uh, orange box v1 all right so we're not going to go back into event sheet we're gonna add something it says on start of layout we're going to go to our orange box and we're gonna set we're gonna look for textures we're gonna say set texture animation in frame so let's go click on our guy first um, we're gonna add a frame and we're going to add a texture right there. It's a pretty big texture. We're going to exit out of there. Go back to our on start of layout. Look for textures. And it's going to be texture relating to our frame. It's going to be number one. Because zero is the icon and one is the actual texture. We're going to say it's, map is a diffuse map. Um, Something that we actually have to do right now is under the animations tab, we want to rename this to diffuse map so that it knows, hey, we need to look for this animation with this wording. Boom, there we go. All right, so on sort of layout, set this box to this diffuse map. And then we want it to be textured and everything. Yes, okay. Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So here's our box one, and there's our box two. And this is what I was talking about, guys. It does not relate to true size of the sprite. See, if this was true size, that our box would be elongated. And this would be a, a nor our normal box size. So what I have to actually do is stretch it. Now, there's one thing we can also do is uh, model scale Y. So hold on. I'm normally used to seeing the Y X coordinates in 3D. So okay, that's the wrong one. Set that to two. There we go. Okay, so to fix this, if you ever have a box that's all squished up, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the uh, model scale X and set it to two so it's not all squishy. Kind of like on this one, if I were to put it to this size, we're going to see it all squished up. like this okay you don't want it like that you're gonna put it scale scale X to 2 depending on how you get it rotated okay so that's rotated a little bit differently I uh, Okay, that's collider scale. We don't want to mess with that. Make sure it says model scale. And boom, there we go. Alright, hopefully you guys you enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of beating around the bush a little bit and doing some basic stuff, but I had some questions and I wanted to reply to them in a way that could 
allow everybody to understand. I'm going to be putting a uh, example file down below, so it's going to include the Blender file of a box, and then the Construct 2 file where you you know where it's already imported, so you can use the same box and import it into your own file and test around. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.